like a circle in a spiral, like a wheel within a wheel, never ending or beginning, like the circles that you find in the windmills of your mind. Visit stogiegeeks.com forward slash debonair for a list of retailers who carry debonair cigars. Buy some today and get a little more debonair. Mm. Oh, oh hey. Hi, everyone. Well, <laughs> ah, 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 I was ah. sipping on my Rot martini, um, which is very good. I can't, uh, I can't describe it any other way other than... Delicious. It's delicious, and it adds that salty component, but doesn't. I'm gonna tell you, you know something. I'm gonna revisit what we said because of you said saltiness. It does add just a smidgen it, because it adds that saltiness component mm. to the flavor. Almost, right? It's yeah. not. It's totally different from scotch mm. or bourbon, right? right? It's, Where it's, it adds a lot other, like other different kinds of flavors, mm. but it adds a saltiness component to to what yeah. you're smoking, yep. which and it doesn't impede. Uh, and anything else, which I think is, uh, I think is really great. Okay. Anyway. Anyway. If you want to drink a great scotch, you know what my re- current recommendation is? $99 for a bottle oh, of scotch. Oh, I know what that is. Glenn Focus. Glenn? Dude, you hit the nail on the head. You weren't even there when I bought the bottle. Get um, out of my head. <laughs> <laughs> Glenn Farkle is 17 year, dude. $99. No, but it's one better than that. day long. What is your recommendation? I want okay. to hear your recommendation. If of. I could... W- Again, um, pronunciation of words, especially when I'm slightly intoxicated, is <laughs> Anoc, an A-N-O-C-N-O-C, 18-year, really? for $105. Interesting. Okay, I'll have to pick one of those up for now, the holidays. That is the yeah. best. I've already went through four bottles. Really? Yes, four of them. Oh, I get the... It's a Highland with a little, with a little bit of attitude. Mm, oh, interesting. Oh, man, I'm telling you. I don't know how to... How would you characterize the Glenn Fark on this, dude? I, is that a Highland, too? Yeah. It, it, but, but, it, it, but what I like about this... You go through the 18-year-old. I know it's a little bit more money. It, it's not no, a whole not lot. not by much. Not by 10, much. 10, 15 bucks. Yeah, okay. I, I think it's got more body, more character. Interesting. And like I said... You ever have a Highland that you think you're drinking a little bit of peat, but it's not? Yeah. If that makes yeah. any sense. No, no, it's, it's, no, yeah. I, I it's know, like it, you were saying with the spice before. Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. Just a little flair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unbelievable. I went what to I it. love, though, is the, and I got these on sale um, on Amazon, is those, uh, the ice balls. Dude, don't go there with that. I, I got more. I, I, that's Dude. all I use. That's all. Dude, it's, but it's not like, it's a bigger than a golf ball. Yeah. Right? It's like an oversized golf ball. Is that's the size you want? And and then and when you put scotch over that dude and have a cigar with it, oh my god! Here's what you do. In it's an, heaven. Uh, okay. Heaven. With no more talk, if you're in the northeast, do what Stogie Santa does. You put the cigar. I mean cigar. You put the scotch outside on your deck. Mm-hmm. You need no balls. <laughs> All you gotta do is drink <laughs> because it chills it. It it's, chills it. Yeah. It does it, because you're right around 45. Yeah. You don't want to because you don't want to kill it with ice. It uh, even it. even yeah. with the big yeah. scotch ball, you're fine. You can't. It is highly recommended. That's why I drank four bottles of that scotch. You want to chill it? No, I oh, agree. I, I'm I to agree. Put it on your deck. I'm not saying out, outside when it's 32 degrees. No, no, but no. But no, at 40, like 45. 40, yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. My you almost God. want to put it in the refrigerator right. to get and it. And all yeah, I do, yeah. I get five drops of water. Boom, mm-hmm. boom, boom. I, I'm anal retentive. You get the little dropper. Yeah, yeah, yeah drop yeah, yeah, yeah. it. Opens it up, and I just. Dude, I had a I had a a, um, a Stogie Geeks moment. I sat in my in my garage and uh, I I participated in a couple of drinks and it was just wonderful. I, it, I'll, I'll, I'll how's this? I'll bring a bottle down to the studio next week. If there's you know there's nothing else that really pairs like that two cigars than a, a fine bottle of scotch. Oh, I love scotch. We've experimented with cocktails and teeny, all this other Mm-mm. stuff, which is good. Don't get me wrong. But there's just something very unique about, uh, it, it, you, like, you don't have to spend $300, right? And there's something mm. to be said about spending less than $50. Right. Uh, a nice bottle of scotch with a nice cigar. Mm-hmm. It's, just, it's one of those pleasures in life 
when done right, like you're saying, chill it, use the ice ball, uh, nice whatever, scar, whatever, whatever you want. It, it's that's the sweet spot for me. Excuse me, please. I'm sorry. So, Will, I'm sorry. We got off a little tangent yeah, there. Right. What are we? <laughs> what are we talking <laughs> wow. about tonight for our debonair ideal? Well, I think we're going to talk a little about how the cigar community, and you know, we talk about the debonair ideal is you know how you how the cigars lead or those conduits or those conversations. That's a spark, you know, from enjoying people's company. And I think over the last few weeks, all of us have kind of experienced an extension of that community on the virtual world. Um, and there's a couple of examples. You know, Pete Sharing Smoke recently, uh, who's a, he's a longtime okay. listener of the show, um, came down to Charlotte. And I met him for a cigar, and we spent the whole afternoon together. And it was like we knew each other. Mm. Um, we have another uh, – community that's really started to kind of form in the Rhode Island area, the cigar corner community. So, you know, a lot of these types of things, you know, Cruck, you know, hey, Cruck came down to the, it was great meeting Cruck when he came down to the anniversary mm -hmm. show. I felt like I knew the guy for 10 years and I had never met him before, but it was all over this virtual, uh, which I think the cigar community is just really, really, it's something special that's developing here. And I'm seeing it a lot more lately. More so. I don't mean to jump in on, no, on your call. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. no, 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 excuse me. Um, I, 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 in different communities and different places, I, uh, uh, because being an older statesman here, I'm, I'm kind of much more reserved. But when it comes to the cigar community, it seems like it's a 90% hit. Because all you want to do is talk about cigars and that, and, and, and that you're sharing it. it it's... It's almost like a it, it it's it's a win win situation, don't you find that? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, but it was really we and but only when I was with Pete, we talked cigars, but we were busting balls on each other. Right, too. same with really yeah. yeah. Crux, yeah. same thing. Yeah. I, the first time I met, I mean, I felt like I've known him, and I'm not to be weird. I wouldn't go that far. I've known him for a long time, but I mean, right. it was a well, I've like it's an introduction to knowing someone before you get to know someone. If that makes sense. Right. No. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, he was. He, uh, what the whole thing by reading his post and doing everything he says and whatever, I was not surprised he exceeded my expectations. Mm -hmm. How's that? Does that make sense? No, no, it totally does. Yeah. Um, I've had a lot of interactions with the Cigar Corner, uh, who the founder of that group on Facebook, which I'm finding there's a lot more groups that are being found on Facebook. When we first started the Stoey Geeks, not so many groups on Facebook, more people starting their own forums which we'll talk about a little bit. Um, but a Facebook group, I think, has kind of opened up. It's lowered the the barrier to entry for cigar mm -hmm. communities because people can very easily go create a Facebook community, start inviting people, and it grows organically. Mm -hmm. um, Jim has grown the Cigar Corner. Uh, Jim's local here to Rhode Island, but he's grown it from – you know, like 30 members over to 400 in a very short period of time because, mm -hmm. you know, he invites them. He talks to people, interacts with people, invites them to the group, and then they invite their friends, and it just grows organically. And <clears throat> he spent a lot of time growing that group, picking who uh, can be involved and who he knows won't be very productive to the group. Like, you know, people from... They have Chinese names that you know are just going to send spam about pharmaceuticals. <laughs> like he's pretty good about weeding, weeding mm. out the cruft of uh, spam and, and whatnot. And it takes time. It, it and it, it takes it time. Does. And, it, and it's hats off to him for, for doing it. Because he was actually that. here today because he made a post, right? So he made a post to Cigar Corner. It was like, hey, you know, like I got this sword and I want to trade my sword for a humidor. And I'm like, dude, I messaged him instantly on Facebook. I'm like. Here are some ways you can build a cheap humidor. I'm like, if you need Bavita packs, come by the studio. I have extra. Like, come come get your Bavita packs, and right. I'll help you build a humidor. And um, turns out he works at a place where he gets a discount where he can buy a cooler. So I'm like, dude, go buy a cooler or a Tupperware container. Right. I'll give you some Bavita packs. Do that for now. Worry about getting another humidor, like a wooden one, like later. Like, but do that for now so you can have more cigars. And you know, those are the kinds of things that. I think a cigar community is great for uh, to see posts like that and have others in the community respond. I think it's really great to have one here locally in Rhode Island uh, and to see it grow and flourish and kind of be, you know, in on very early, I think was, was pretty cool. 
Uh, and those guys come here and they watched the show a couple of weeks ago. They were actually in here in studio. Uh, so I think it's a, it's a really positive thing. So uh, I, I like the cigar communities that are sprouting up now. I've had mixed success with uh, I'm glad the ones this. that have the, it's it's the content. Don't you do you, you know? It's not just the content, but uh, what I've talked about on the show before, Will, and I, I think Will before you joined, and maybe in Stoke State before you joined the Stoke Geeks, Tim and I had discussions about our experiences with cigar forums. You know, I, I've been involved with computers since I was seven years old, so I started looking at these cigar forums, and it was like really hit or miss, and there were all these rules. And then you would post something, and people would be rude to you, and in all this stuff. And I'm like, this, this, this isn't for me. And I'm really happy to see that progress to uh, social media networks such as Facebook, who for now have let us flourish. Well, for now, remains to be space, seen. Eh? Yeah, yeah, remains whatever. to be seen. But have let us flourish and uh, create our own rules that I think are a little more loose. Uh, in a little more community-based where people can ask questions, people can post stuff and not get flamed by people, not get trolled by people and right. all those things that you've seen online since there ever was an internet in you know the, the early 90s or late 90s or whatever when you got involved in the internet. So, um, you know, there's a lot of history there. There's a lot of technology there. There's a lot of... I think people who have done forums correctly, I think... Uh, a lot of people who have created these groups that have done things well and, and, and maybe not so well. But when we look at the landscape today, I am really uh, kind of encouraged to see all these cigar groups form uh, and really encourage that community involvement, uh, especially here in Rhode Island, which is – I mean, we're a small state, dude. Like, oh, we're yeah. a small state, right? It's amazing. We've got so many shops and so many cigar smokers – uh, and to have them use technology and, and get hooked up with people like that and to see it really grow like overnight. like that I, is I cool. can't believe it grows because we, we, I'll tell you something, Coop. Unlike North Carolina and southern states where you probably come out and wave to your neighbors, I turn my back to my neighbors. I, I, I My best neighbor is I don't talk to them. You know, and not to be to, to oh, be rude, you know yeah. what I'm saying? To, to, to see Cigar Corner, to do what they've done, has done a, a, a nice job. So far, and I hope it stays that way. I hope so too. You know, yep. I, I really do. You don't know what's coming down, and it's it's really important because this way here, if you're looking for something, you just it's not about sales. It's not about that type of uh, forum. It's like this, like you said today, a sword for a, a humidor. You know, yeah, what I mean? yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Small yeah, little. Do, you, know, you want to reach out and help that guy exactly. out? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. I, and I saw a couple of things like we we saw the the the, the secret Santa type thing. I'm doing the secret. I'm doing the secret Santa I, with I cigar don't corner. Do I've secret. never I, done that before in my entire I life. Can't dude. I can't do it. I just, you know, my secret. Well, Santa you're a is, Santa, so you, maybe you should do it. No, no <laughs> but the, the whole thing is, I'm my own Santa. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't want to. The whole thing is, I don't want to. Gotta get you a T-shirt. I'm my own. own Santa. I'm my own Santa. But, but what <laughs> I'm trying to get is that is, I, I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. But it's just. Right. It's it, it's for me. It was like the right group to do that. No, oh, I it, I do. I it's one of the few yeah. things I re, I don't post a lot because I'm kind of a reserved individual. Mm -hmm. And but this particular <laughs> this particular uh, I, I I I I've have gravitated to it. I really do. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna actually stop posting because I've been sitting on the outside looking in, yeah. and it's been positive. Absolutely. It, it, I haven't seen uh, they, they they what I liked about it, and maybe I'm a little partial. With the Stogie Geeks, they've been positive towards it. There's, it, it, it's, it's, it's a little, little family in itself. I'm really proud of them. Yeah, it's been uh, 99 and yeah. 9 tenths all about well, and you cigars know, a lot of, a lot and, of it and grew positive from, feedback. A lot of it grew from folks posting in other forums and groups and getting negative feedback and going, yep. ah, I don't want to create a community like that. Mm -hmm. I remember posting in, in my story on the previous shows years back where I'm like, yeah, I posted on Cigar Family and – all these people were like rude to me, and I'm like, "That's, I'm like, that's just not that's right. what it's, it's about." That's not right. I yeah. agree, hundred percent. And yeah. and what I want to do is, I guess, being part of a, I, I got to be careful in a sense. I help, I don't mean to be sound so protective, but I work in a shop and do different things, and I don't want to go on. Um, of course, my allegiance to different people, and I don't want to come out of self righteousness. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So I, 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 that's why I reserve a lot of things. Yeah. 
I really you know do. what's interesting, uh, kind of a different uh, kind of path off of, off of this is, and we'll talk about it in the next segment too, in the Cigar Corner group, I saw a lot of people posting pictures of them smoking a pipe mm-hmm. and smoking and, that's and talking not, about pipes. I may, I may even go back to I, I bought like, a that's pipe. That's really cool. And I dabble in pipes a little bit. And I'm actually going to review some pipe tobacco in the next segment, uh, which may be our first ever official review of pipe tobacco. Uh, but I, I thought that was kind of a cool thing. In fact, on Thanksgiving is when I, I didn't smoke a cigar. I smoked a pipe. It was a little uh, cold out. I, I, I wanted says, to spend time with my I family. I smoked a pipe before. Well, I, couldn't, I can't say that. I don't have the I patience. Sm- I mean, ex- thank you, Coop. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Know you know what, though? I haven't got I'll the talk about fucking that. patience for if a pipe. You find, if you find the right pipe tobacco, and, you don't and, need as much patience. No, no, it's not that. I think what it is is is, is it, you always got to do that, but it's not finding the right to pipe the pipe tobacco. It's finding the right pipe. That too, it's a combination I, 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 of both. You know, I mean, if you go and get a corn yeah. cob, it's one I, thing. I don't know a lot of. I, 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 a lot, did you, you ever smoke it, that Davidoff I gave you? I did. That it, that stuff. There. It didn't burn as well as it, like. It was almost like I got to practice before I can get the true enjoyment out of that pipe tobacco because it was kind of finicky in the pipe that I was putting it in. It didn't burn. I could tell it's it was a burly. It was a burly cut. It, I, I, I suck at packing a pipe. But, I suck but, at it. No, no, you but don't. then I suck at but, smoking but it's a pipe going too back because to what, what Coop just said. See what I'm saying? You said it's patience. It's patience. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I then think, it gurgles. Gurgles means you're smoking it too yeah, fast. Exactly. I fucking do that all the time. It's fucking but gurgling. Yet, as <laughs> I'm saying to myself, I say that, but yet what lures me to that is patience. Yes. I have patience for tobacco, but not people. Mm-hmm. And I bought, I guess what? I bought my pipe today. You bought a pipe today? Yeah. I used to you s- didn't have one before? From oh, before? I had pipes years ago. I used to, I, I, I sold you don't my, have any more of them? Though? I sold all my pipe to... You know, isn't that, isn't that wild? Oh, I'm, oh, so I, you're getting I, back into it now. I, I'm going to try... I'm, I'm going to do it. Yes, I am. Because I really enjoyed it. I, it. You know, every once in a while, I find it to be very enjoyable. Because you know what it is? It makes you find even extra time. Yes. It's because like that it, Lancero, right? Like you got to exactly. take your time. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And I think there's time for it. And, and I can understand... Like, if you go, I, Coop was funny. I forgot this. I was at the cigar show, and I was still talking to this older gentleman. He just memorized, um, or whatever. It, it, he just took me back to when I was, oh, listen to me, when I was a kid. He's like 80. And he says, son, you're missing out. And that was the last show when I was, we, we were at. And, I, and I, he, he, he's in the back of my mind. So I, bought, I, I, just, I only bought, it was only a $60 pipe. Yeah. And I'm saying, I bought one for like forty something dollars recently. Yeah, mine's yeah. a nice Peterson. Well, probably. Oh, Peterson. More. Peter. When we met, he came into the shop, and I, I, I met him. Yeah, er- and Eric. I, I, yeah. Exactly. No, Nording. Nording. Eric Nord- Nord- Nording. Yeah. Nording is the other one. Yeah. Peterson I, is the popular one. I, Nording I watched, is right. the guy that I, I bet, watched yeah. women's Danish curling once with Eric Nording. Really? How cool is that? That's awesome. Oh, and they are the best. They are the best looking. Uh, Female team I've ever oh, seen. Oh yeah, especially mm-hmm. when they're bending down and pushing that, that yeah, thing. Yeah. You know, so, how often do so you, you get a, you got a Peterson? The yeah. room. I mean, and, and I got a nice little Peterson. I got the bowl. I know how to break it in. I used to mix my father's tobacco when I was younger. I used to smoke it. Mm-hmm. So my he let me smoke that, but I couldn't smoke tobacco. But I don't want to get in the whole thing. And I, you know, something I had nothing but enjoyment. Mm. It's interesting. I, I want to go back. You know, something is so funny you brought I this up. I wanted to ask you um, with pipe tobacco. Will and I were talking about this earlier today when we talked on the phone. You don't really age pipe tobacco, do you? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna give you the wrong answer. I don't know. We were. I'm gonna th- ask. I'm gonna ask Ben Lee that question. Yeah. I don't want to give. I don't want to give it the wrong know. answer. Yeah. I, we, I, I can't I would, see aging yeah. really being a proponent to that. But I don't want to say yes or no. I don't want to give an so incorrect. So here's the question. underlying question. We didn't know the answer either. Yeah. Will and uh, I were talking about. What's our rating system for pipe tobacco? Oh, well, we'll that's something we'll get together with. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think I, our I rating think, system now really relies on aging. But I think you, we yeah. ought to really I, take a strong – I'm going to take a strong – this weekend, mm-hmm. I'm taking a long weekend, right? I we told my think wife, about it. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm smoking I'm, – I'm, I got a couple of nice tobaccos in my – I'm going to stop back a couple of different two I do, too. Things. I got a bunch of really nice pipe tobacco. You Some know? I bought from your shop. Yeah. Other local shops, other ones that my friends have gifted me that I work and, with in my and, day and, job. Yeah. And, and, you know, breaking into tobacco. What's, what's, what's to get back to the debonair 
definitely what we're Sorry, talking about. Sorry, we just about. got off on a whole podcast. Right, a whole, whole yeah. bunch of t- uh, and what we're saying is about the cigar community. Mm. This is what it does. You see what I'm saying? I think we're making our own point. No, it's it makes true. you think. We want to smoke a pipe because we joined a community and we see right. other people smoking pipes. And we're like, you know what? I got to get okay, back into that. Okay, you see. The whole okay. reason I smoked a pipe on Thanksgiving I saw, I is. I see Ben Lee. I see friends of mine. And, oh, uh, Romeo on the cigar corner. He's yeah, smoking a yeah. pipe all the time, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, that's what got me back into it. So I, I think just it's very love per- yeah. cigars so much. Uh, and I'm saying to myself, if you, get, if, you eat, if you eat steak all the time, you'll never know how good a chicken could taste. Yes. Right? right, or if you eat chicken, you don't know what steak tastes like. It's interesting. That's why I've I've branched out into pipe tobacco and some flavored and infused cigars. Remind me to talk about some flavored and infused cigars in mm-hmm. our next segment as well. That's why I branched out. And then when you come back to the regular cigars, I think you appreciate them even more. Mm-hmm. But I and also look, you think know, you not- grow an appreciation for those infused cigars and pipe tobacco. Well, Coop? you know what I was going to say? There's nothing wrong with an infused cigar. If someone enjoys it, it may not be my first choice. Mm-hmm. Um, let them enjoy it. You know something? This is the most important point. And I don't, Coop, not just because you said that. Mm-hmm. That it's like a big ring cigar, small. It's all about tobacco and our rights Let to smoke yeah. this. Let yeah. them enjoy it. Right. I, I, and again, and we're going to go back to this. I know that you closed out on, on, on the CRA. I had a gentleman come in today and he asked different questions of what's going on. And I had to raise this question. He goes, I never knew that. How do I sign up? Yeah. And here's a guy I never met before. He never knew what's going on. And, and, it's, and this is what it's all about, is our enjoyment. And I think if more people smoked cigars and tobacco, God only knows what we could yep. do. So, anyway. Yep. Cool. Well, that concludes our Debonair Ideal segment for this evening. A lot of great stuff coming up in the next segment. I'm really excited. We're going to review some pipe tobacco, some infused cigars, and a whole bunch of other regular cigars, too. I, I, it's, we're gonna be we're gonna be a very well-rounded segment uh, yeah, between a lot of, three yeah, of us. Yeah, we got a lot of smokes to get yeah, to. Yeah, make sure you stay tuned. Uh, so with that, we'll be right back. I can't wait to see it, dude. I, I can't wait to see you smoke a pipe, dude. <laughs> 